and the Nigerian Senate has strongly condemned all forms of violence against women and girls, emphasizing the need for more robust measures to safeguard their interests. This position was articulated during Thursday's plenary, where the senators actively participated in the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence on women and the girl child. Details on this report. Adorning orange sashes as a symbol of solidarity for the advocacy, the lawmakers, including the President of the Senate, Godswill Akpabio, were united in their commitment to address this critical issue. The advocacy motion was sponsored by 17 senators, spearheaded by Senator Ireti Kingibe, representing the FCT. Since the launch of the National Gender-Based Data Room, and dashboard, over 28,000 cases of gender-based violence have been reported nationwide. In all these reported cases, over 9,000 have been opened against offenders, while over 8,000 are still pending in various courts, as over 1,800 cases have been withdrawn, either by the courts, community intervention, family and victims that have become afraid or intimidated to withdraw the case. The number of convictions are only 455, and sadly, the number of fatalities are, are, from GBV are over 1,250. Voicing their support to the motion, Senators Adam Soshomole, Natasha Akoti, and Abdul Ningi, among others, acknowledged the virtues and sacrifices made by women globally, with a specific emphasis on those in Nigeria. I think we'll just be doing justice to the foundation of our own, of our, of our system, by not only passing motions like the UN is doing without teeth to bite, we should pass laws with appropriate tools and encourage the police to enforce those laws and prosecute. I'd lend my voice in calling for a stop in all form of violence against girls, children, schools, workplaces, and also ask that all the agencies that are responsible in mitigating this floor, step up in their responsibilities so that our women will have a safe place to live and thrive. I so submit. Thank you. It takes two to tango. The women folk also must, at every given time, know their position in society. And you may, as they listen, to also rise to the occasion they are human beings like every other of us, and therefore they must not allow themselves to play second pedal. They are not second pedal. They are the important foundation of every human society. In concluding the debate before the motion was passed, the Senate president declared that all the senators are in agreement that violence against women and girl child must be unequivocally condemned. Please, as we protect the rights of women, we should also protect the rights of men. There are men who are suffering under their, their, their wives. There are many men who are groaning and nobody's listening to them because the United Nations has not yet taken up the issue of uh, violence against men. Uh, on that note, I thank all of us for your contributions and urge that uh, uh, God Almighty will give all of us the wisdom to protect the women and protect the girl child. A minute's silence was thereafter observed to honor the memory of all women and individuals who lost their lives due to violence. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.